was hand and fam, it's Lowell Wolf here. We are back in Train Simulator 2018, and today we are we are going to be driving another famous uh, British steam locomotive, and this is one of the cl this is one of the LNER class A for Pacifics, and this is one of the most famous ones of them all. This is the Mallard. It's not Mallard, it's Mallard. Now, as you can see, it's in this awesome black, blue, and red paint with those, like, extra fender covers. I have no idea what those are. And pulling um, seven of those luxurious coaches, I think. It has a first-class coach. And in the cab, it's got tea so that the crew can enjoy tea while they're going down the line. So anyway, so anyway we guys are on the Great Western Main Line. And this is where we are going to be driving the Mallard and speeding down the line in. So without further ado, let's let's get on our way. to the chuffing. Oh, guys, here we go. Now, guys, the top speed of this thing was, well, was and is 126 miles an hour. Yeah, that's very fucking fast for, for, steam, for a steam engine. Well, well, in the last three other videos of this series, I, I got the Flying Scotsman up to 104 miles an hour. Now, as you can see, it's got two funnels there, of which I don't know why. So, anyway. <clears throat> Alright, guys, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, oh, guy. Oh, get ready, guys. Get ready. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Listen to that. Here we go. The uh, this is basically the this is basically one of the Flying Scotsman's cousins, and there's actually a, about like a about like three or four or about like five more uh, Class A fours that are kind of like this, except that they have different names. This one is the Mallard, and there's actually one called Sir Nigel Gresley, which I think was named after the. Uh, their designer, of which, of which Sir Nigel Gresley sadly passed away on July 14th, 1942, at age at at 67 years of age. He designed the Flying Scotsman and and the Mallard. <clears throat> oh, look 
that. That's such an awesome sight. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the uh, so this is the first class coach, and as you can see, it's it's got a picture of one of the class A fours there. It's, it's got these nice seats, this luxurious interior, and and also the beautiful sights that 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 you can actually see outside this. So 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 the only time that 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 you can actually get into one of these coaches is either if they're like this or if they're like some of the American ones of which are coming up later in the series what? we're not going only 50.5 miles an hour are you serious can we not go any faster like like come on seriously Yes, guys, this thing is faster than the Flying Scotsman. About 26 miles per hour faster than the Flying Scotsman. This thing is basically a fucking rocket on... This thing is a rocket on wheels. No, 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 other side of the tracks. Damn it. I really can't get a... Oh, here we go. So yeah, guys, this thing is a British rocket. <clears throat> and this thing is actually kind of around the same age as some of the other uh, locomotives coming up later in the series. Around over 70 years old. Here we go, another awesome angle. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. I, I see you all, don't worry. Apparently it's the weight of the coaches that's causing that's causing me that's causing me to only go only only uh, 50 miles an hour. Go outside the tracks, camera. Here we go. I just 
took a screenshot there. Nope, opposite, opposite side of the tracks. Here we go. What a glorious sight. Just, just seeing this blue rocket on rails come, come flying down the line. This is awesome. And guys, this thing, this, this is an add-on. So yeah.